Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today we're working on this fifth wheel. Um, the refrigerator is working. It's not working probably as well as it should. And the furnace is not working now. The refrigerator has been acting up for a while and now the furnace is acting up. Um, so Norcold refrigerator, we're getting an HF code. On the refrigerator, we'll get an HF and then we'll get a C. And I do believe we're gonna find out here, man. I believe that's gonna be a high frequency. I'd almost say that uh, they're having an issue with their power converter, but we're gonna find out. Get my trusty multimeter out. Get to the back of the water heater. Water heater, refrigerator. I mean, if, if it is if it is a high frequency, what it's going to be doing is it's going to have um, the converter is going to have an issue, and it is going to be putting out too much AC voltage. How much is too much? Just about any on a DC on a DC circuit. So let's see here. Let's see if I'm even close. The funny thing is the refrigerator quit clicking, actually lit on gas, should be running on electric right now because it's on auto. I assume we're plugged in. My multimeter is bouncing around from millivolts when it's on it's only showing a few millivolts of AC power the refrigerator is actually working and then it will start clicking on and off and on and off and on and off and it's it's just too fast for my meter uh, so yeah I believe we got some AC ripple going on here so let's find the uh, power converter and uh, see if I have a power converter and then we'll change the power converter see if things don't straighten up all right I unplugged the uh, camper from the AC still clicking but the, I think the battery's bad battery's only showing like five volts so we're just gonna switch out the converter we found a it's a deck mount converter inside this compartment just take a few minutes to switch it out see if my theory's right all right, I was right. It was a bad converter. Um, thing must have been putting out some serious AC ripple. But I don't, I don't think I've ever seen it affect uh, the air conditioner before. Because uh, even it was clicking. Uh, the controls, so the furnace wouldn't work. Because the controls, you know, for the furnace are up in the air conditioner. I know, makes no sense, but uh, it was even clicking. And... Uh, so we've put the converter in, and if you want to know how to change a converter, I'll put a link right up here. This was just a deck mount converter. I've done a lot of them. I think I've done several videos. So I'll put, I'll put a link to a video up here um, so that you can show, so that you can see how I changed the converter. All right, um, now I'm just, uh, the furnace works fine. I'm just going over the refrigerator and make sure that it's working okay. But uh, yeah, it's just a quick and down and dirty video. Um, I, you know, when we see AC ripple like that, um, I've never seen it like pulse like that. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it pulse like that, but anyhow, I mean, usually we just see, you can put your multimeter on AC scale, check some DC wires and you'll get, gosh, I think almost no AC ripples good, but I think it only takes like, um, half a volt of ac to cause an ac ripple and it usually will show up in the refrigerator first and it will usually show up on a norcold refrigerator first um, of course dometic's pretty pretty sensitive to ac ripple as well like i said, i don't i've never seen the air conditioner control i don't believe 
So this must have had a lot. This is a little bit lighter. Uh, I got this converter in the garage now. Uh, hopefully the audio was okay on the rest of this video because it was really windy out there. Hopefully my my dead cat done his job on my microphone. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I made the right call. Uh, I mean, I knew that because as soon as we hooked the new converter up, furnace came on, and so. So as I plugged it in the wall, furnace came on. So I knew we made the right call, uh, but I want to show you some stuff. It's pretty interesting. So I got the converter out here on the test table and uh, this is DC voltage. So it's putting out 13.7 volts, right? All right, we put it to AC to see if there's any AC ripple and all we're getting is millivolts, just a few millivolts, okay? So, but there's no load on this. This is just a light bulb out of a vehicle. It's a brake light, turn signal, all right? We'll hook it up to the, to the converter. Watch the DC voltage. DC voltage goes down to 2.3 volts. Um, and the light just barely is dim. Now, I think if you watch, I think it will go up to like eight or nine volts here in a minute. It was a while ago. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me now. The fan was coming on. <laughs> okay, that's, that's awesome. Now it's doing better, but still, it's only putting out 2.4 volts. We take the load off. There it is, eight, nine volts, and then it'll jump up to 13, 14. So this converter is really bad. And we'll put the little bit of load right back on it. I mean, it's just, um, what, maybe seven or eight amps in this uh, tail light bulb. All right, let's go to AC. All right, it's still showing us uh, millivolts but I think I really think this thing has got some AC voltage coming out of it uh, I just can't put enough load on it to make it do it Let's see what happens yeah I don't know anyhow I just wanted to show you, I did make the right call. Um, I didn't even check the DC output on this thing. I just, I knew something was weird. Um, and I don't know whether it showed up or not, but like, um, and I told you, but the, the refrigerator was just the, the control board on the back of it, just clicking and on and off and on and off and on and off. Even the light inside the refrigerator was going on and off and on and off. And then the, the uh, furnace controls up in the air conditioner are doing the same things. Yeah, so it's definitely bad. Made a good call. I uh, got the people going and uh, they're happy and I'm happy. If you're happy, don't forget to go down there. Check out all the links below. All kinds of stuff going on down there. And if you're really happy, leave me a comment. Uh, and if you're really, really, really happy, uh, drop me a note in the mail. Post office link down below. So uh, I'm gonna go up the road and fix another one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day. Here's the furnace that uh, Cameron and I took out the other day. So waiting on a fan motor for it. Should be here tomorrow evening. So there will be an upcoming video uh, changing a fan motor on this and I'll show you how we diagnose that too. Here, that'll give you something to look forward to. I mean, everybody needs something to look forward to, right? So there's, there's, there's your thing. I know it ain't much, but you know, what, what can I do? All right. See y'all.